ever on is lobster shorts. And I'm here with the thrift store item. So I got the Ron Popeil pasta maker. I've actually been looking for this for a while. I got it at Value Village for $12.99. And I have put the, I think it's a penne pasta plate in there. That's the one I'm gonna try. I was really hoping it would come with a rigatoni or a fusilli. You can get them on eBay, so as long as this thing works okay, I will probably just order one on eBay. But here's the device. Again, $12.99. And it did come with a ton of the plates. So I think this one is macaroni. There's also angel hair pasta. And just another kind of pasta. And this one I think is fettuccine. It also had a bagel maker, which I was actually really surprised. I didn't know they did make bagels. And another spaghetti style one. This one that makes gnocchi, which I will be trying. Um, I'm not sure what kind of pasta that one is, but it's a little bit thicker. It also makes lasagna noodles. And I guess that's taglatelli. And then cookies, this thing makes cookies. So that's a bit unusual. I really doubt I'll ever be making cookies in this thing. And it also has some measuring cups. And then this thing, which I guess helps screw on the pasta plates as well. So I'm gonna be giving it a try. I'm really excited about it. I think I'm gonna make penne. If the penne doesn't quite work for me, then I'll probably just put a pasta like spaghetti in there. Okay, so I have some water boiling because I think once this machine starts working, it's going to be pretty quick. And I also have some sauce simmering as well. Okay, so I've got some flour to dump in, a little bit of oil, some salt, and I'm also going to add an egg as well. And then just turn the machine on. So I'm dumping in enough flour to make a half load. I'm, I'm assuming this is what you're supposed to do is like a half load of this for flour. Then I'm gonna dump in half a teaspoon of salt here. And then it's got some fill lines on this for the egg, the oil, and the water. Okay, so I have the egg and the oil, a tablespoon of oil, one egg, and I'm just gonna go to this fill line right there with water, turn the machine on and add it. know if it's good or not so I am gonna try it it does kind of mangle the ends a little doesn't it I There's not really any more pasta coming out. There's a little bit of batter left, but not too much. And here is the tray of noodles it made. So again, they were a little warped, but the half batch makes that many noodles. 
pulled off the plate and there is quite a bit of dough here. So again, it doesn't use the whole amount of dough. You are left with a little bit that it didn't cook or press into noodles, I should say. So I'm going to dump it into some boiling water and I'm guessing it'll take about three minutes to cook, but I really have no idea. So I'll just taste test until it's done. I'm just going to add the pasta to the boiling water and try not to warp it. Ow. So it's in there. The water stopped boiling because I added the pasta. So it'll start up again soon. Not sure how long it'll take. I'm going to give it about three minutes and we'll see what happens. So that's a half batch. Um, because the noodles kind of mangled at the ends a little bit, the hot water isn't going to fully drain completely. So I'm going to give it a bit of a shake and then I'll serve it up. Okay, so a hot batch actually served two people perfectly, and I'm about to try it. All right, so I'm gonna give it a try. It turned out pretty well. I definitely use this again. I definitely wanna try it for fusilli, so I am gonna order that on eBay. But I think it worked really good. And again, I only got it for $12.99 at the Value Village. So it was a really good deal. I think I have to record that again. Okay, so I'm going to give this a try. It didn't take that long to make either. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Even though it, it kind of like um, did pinch the ends of the penne noodles together, it still turned out pretty well. Oh, I have some special friends with me today. So I would definitely use this again. Again, I only paid $12.99 for it at the thrift store, and that was really cool. I'll be ordering that plate for Fusilli on eBay because it did work just fine. It made pasta pretty quickly. I think it's going to be a bit of a job to clean it up. I didn't use all the dough. There was some dough left behind the dye plate for the pasta. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. I know these are fairly old, this machine. I don't know how often the person who had it before me used it. I think they are a little bit gimmicky. I don't know how often I will be making my own pasta, but it did turn out pretty well. I'm happy with the machine. I am going to keep it. And I will be ordering another plate for it. So I guess I'm pretty excited about it. It works pretty good.